1585 then, uh, Philip II of Spain decided to invade England and he uh, decided to uh, arrange an invasion force in Lisbon and Corona. Corona is up in the, the north of Spain, uh, Galicia area, I think. And he kept all fishing ships in Spanish waters for the next three years and built up his uh, invasion force. Uh, foolishly, he decided that the force would go directly up to the uh, Straits of Dover and pick up an accumulation of, uh, of Spanish soldiers and take them on board and then proceed up the Thames. Now, strategically it was a big mistake. He could have gone ashore in Plymouth or some place where his fleet established, uh, established a beachhead and then marched his forces towards London. This is what William of uh, uh, William who became King William in uh, uh, 1889 did with his Dutch forces. Instead of this, the weather changed very badly and his fleet was pushed against the continental coast and when that happened, the uh, Admirals, particularly Admiral Drake, and I should point out that practically all the famous admirals in the uh, English Navy came from the West Country, particularly from Devon, which is something that uh, poor Keith Matthews was very, very proud of. And uh, <coughs> when they got caught up in the winds against the coast, Drake and the others sent ships, burning ships, uh, filled with gunpowder and other flammable uh, items. And the uh, captains panicked. They had to get out of the uh, trap they were in, and the only way to go was north. And the English uh, warships followed them until eventually. Uh, the fleet, the Spanish Armada, decided it was better to continue on around the north of Scotland and north of England, north of Ireland, and return to Spain on that route. But they had no local pilots, and uh, there were many, many shipwrecks, and they say many sailors were either murdered on shore by local inhabitants, or they were adopted into the families of local inhabitants. But <clears throat> this was a key turning point in the history of the Newfoundland fishery.